Hi everyone, I just wanted to put this quick overview together showcasing my black hole project. As I've seen, it's very popular. A lot of people have, um, uh, have taken it from Gumroad and from ArtStation. Uh, also, it's available on Patreon and with YouTube membership. And I just wanted to showcase some of the, um, you know, what you can do, some of the possibilities inside Unreal Engine using this uh, black hole, which obviously you can also make if you follow the tutorial, link in the description below. You can follow the tutorial and you can make your own black hole. So let's have a look what the, let's have a look what the features are. Uh, so if we select the black hole itself and we, let's say we just try to go up to it. Uh, so what you'll notice is that it's got a few options in here. It's got a black hole size, so that will increase or decrease the black hole itself. The black hole can only be as big as the total scale of the of the shape. So, you know, this scale, if I set it up to 1000 and I try and go in there, you can see it's all black. That's because you've got to actually scale down the black hole until it goes within, you know, inside that space. Okay. So let's just make it big again. As you can see, there's a distortion around where the black hole is. So if I try to go, um, I don't know, something like that, and I'll move it. As you can see, a distort space. This is controlled by the gravitational lensing category, where you have the scale of the lensing. So if we increase that, you can see that it's changing. It's just created a higher lensing uh, surface. So if we take that back to uh, the default 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, uh, we've got the lensing sort of power around it. Um, and then we've got, well, both of these sort of control the refraction um, intensity and power. Um, and then you've got options for the color of the ring. So if you play around with these sort of options, it will change the color of what you are seeing. So pretty much, um, increasing the emission as well of light. So you may want to keep these uh, settings quite low. Uh, you've also got an emission intensity, which you can use that in order to create this sort of blackness around it. Or, you know, if you put it at one, for example, and maybe reduce all of these colors here, you know, try and try and get a bit, get it a bit less emissive. Um, and then again, based on whatever ring colors you're putting in, that will just change how the black hole looks like. Uh, then you've got the ring stretch, which is affecting the ring around the black hole itself. So we can, you know, we can make it, we can make different sort of variations of that just by, uh, changing its stretching, which again, gives you some control over it. Then you've got the Doppler intensity, which is this, um, sort of, uh, shine that comes from the edge of the black hole. That's where the accretion disk sort of um, meets with the black hole. So you've got that. You can increase its uh, intensity or lower it. Then you've got the event horizon size, which just makes the hole, the inside of the hole, you know, smaller or or larger, depending on whatever size you want. So all of that is, con is, is controlled via the blueprint. You can obviously um, open the blueprint and see how that all is set up and, and just make your own modifications. Um, they're quite straightforward. Uh, I'm not sure why this is taking so long to open the blueprint, but sometimes this can happen. Uh, so the blueprint is very, it's, you know, it's optimized. Um, there's not, there aren't really any issues with it. So all the parameters are set within the construction script. And then there's nothing in the event graph, really. Everything is just being driven by the, um, construction script in terms of how you can change these, uh, material parameters. Because most of this, most of the black hole is just driven uh, by materials. There's only um, so th there is a, a shape for the uh, for the outer refraction, um, and then there's another shape for the black hole itself, and that's really about it. Um, so in this particular project, you're getting the black hole. You're also going to be getting um, a another blueprint, which is for planet so you can drag that in as well and the black the, the planet has uh rings one second it's got rings and it's got um an atmosphere so i'm just trying to let's just make this a lot larger so we can actually see it <clears throat> um so i made the planet to be quite big and the planet has an atmosphere like i've said so you can um, increase its atmosphere height if you want to 
And then, as I said, you've got these uh, these rings that you will need to play around with the frequencies in order to to get them to show. But without, you know, you've got to set up the uh, a directional light for it. Um, just trying to find where that is. Sorry, over here. So we've got to select the directional light, and then you should be able to start um, seeing the uh, the planet, and and you know it will update with its. Um, um with, with its actual you know where the light is shining from i'm just trying to get these um uh, rings to spawn in here so whenever the uh the rings that will show up on the planet just rotate a little bit then that should fix the problem you can see the rings over there and now you can sort of start adjusting their shape and size uh so you're getting all of that within the same project you're getting the black hole you're getting the planet with atmosphere and rings and um, again, you can, you know, this black hole is very customizable and you can start make creating um, all sorts of manner of, of animations with it. You can obviously stretch its rings in such a way that it further enhances what the visuals that you're trying to achieve here. You can also, um, work, you know, work on adding volumetrics to this as well. So it's very powerful stuff. And the fact that it can just bend space around it is also really neat. Um, so I hope you guys you find find it very useful. I hope um, you know this this video has proven to be uh, quite um, a good resource for you. Just remember, you can get this off of Gumroad or, or uh, Art Station, even on my Patreon or as a YouTube member. Uh, if not, just follow the tutorial in the description below, and you should be able to achieve making your own black hole. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.